Hi friends, how are you? Uh, this is your friendly neighborhood pediatrician Dr. Aditya Bhatt and today we will discuss uh, something about sickle cell disease. So sickle cell disease as you know is a point mutation autosomal recessive condition in which there is a displacement of a single amino acid and that's why there is a, the pathogenesis of this condition which leads to the crisis and the anemia in these patients. Uh, the severity of this disease is due to that the patient's RBC become non-deformable and in crisis there is increased evidence of sickling and uh, these RBC are unable to recover from the stresses uh, like acidosis or hypoglycemia or uh, sluggish circulation. Now, uh, there are the one of the questions commonly asked is that what is the sickling test so sickling test is a test in which we use component known as sodium beta bisulfite which uh, actually sickles it causes the RBC to go into the stress but it does not differentiate between trait and disease and another investigation that we might do is a newborn screening it uh, actually until the age of six months as you know uh, the HBF is present so there is no evidence of sickling crisis because HBF is protective against sickling so in such conditions we have to do newborn screening which diagnoses uh, the genes the mutation which diagnoses the mutation uh, so that we can diagnose it before the patient is of six months and patient presents with a crisis or uh, any other clinical features of sickle cell disease now a uh, common feature of sickle cell disease as we have talked are crises so there are multiple types of crises that occur in sickle cell disease so first type of crisis is aplastic crisis or uh, sorry anemic crisis or sequestration crisis in which there is pooling of all the blood into the uh, spleen so what happens is the patient becomes anemic all the blood is pooled inside the spleen so the patient becomes anemic and there is massive enlargement of the spleen so there is a shock like picture in such patients and uh, there is decrease even in uh, platelet count and even uh, WBC count as they are also sequestered in the spleen. This uh, usually uh, is treated with early diagnosis and IV fluid and blood transfusion as soon as possible. Now, as you all know that uh, in sickle cell there is usually no splenomegaly, there is usually autosplenectomy. So this, uh, and if this occurs then splenectomy is recommended for patients with sickle cell disease. Another uh, crisis is aplastic crisis which occurs in, in presence of the famous virus parvovirus B19 and uh, it is usually transient and brisk and usually recovers on its own but if it is severe or presents with clinical features we usually go for transfusion. Other uh, causes is vaso-occlusive crisis in which uh, there is uh, deformed RBCs are blocking the circulation to specific organs so it might present as dactylitis it might be symmetrical or unilateral and up to the age of 18 months the metatarsals and metacarpals are also the site of synthesis of RBC so they are most involved and if you do x-ray you will find the areas of osteoporosis and sclerosis uh, according to the area. Now this bone might become permanently deformed because there is repeated interruptions of blood supply. Now, uh, it might present as mesenteric ischemia and abdominal pain. Neurological complications might occur. Now, always remember the neurological complications in sickle cell are as cerebral venous thrombosis. It is never arterial thrombosis. It is always cerebral venous thrombosis. So, it might occur as focal neurological deficit, stroke, hemiparesis. Uh, other uh, involvement is acute chest syndrome in which there is blockage. Uh, to the pulmonary circulation there is pulmonary infarct or it might be a fat embolism due to bone marrow infarction so uh, if these two conditions are life threatening and uh, acute chest syndrome is one of the most common cause of death in the patients with uh, sickle cell disease there might also be AVN of uh, femoral head now one of the common questions asked is that uh, what is penicillin prophylaxis in patients with autosplenectomy or with the patients where you have done splenectomy so up to the age of two months you have to give 125 mg penicillin BD while uh, after that up to the age of five years you have to give 250 milligram BD up to the age of five years after five years it usually uh, is not needed and erythromycin may be given if there is uh, a penicillin, a penicillin allergy 
other common complication is prior prism please comment down below if you know that any other causes of prior prism in pediatric population uh, there might be also presence of renal disease occlusion of vasa recta might cause chronic renal failure there might be retinopathy cardiac pulmonary hypertension now the treatment of sickle cell disease as you all know is hydroxyurea according to the new guidelines all patients of sickle cell disease disease uh, are given uh, hydroxyurea at the maximum tolerable dose previously it was that if uh, some amount of uh, crisis are present in one year then only now all patients of sickle cell disease are to be given hydroxyurea at the maximum tolerable dose other drugs include volexator volexator is a affinity uh, modulator and uh, crisnalizumab is a monoclonal antibody against endothelium so uh, please read about them uh, they might be asked and uh, another question that they ask is transfusion therapy so what are the benefits of transfusion therapy so transfusion therapy actually adds hba so there is dilution of hbs and which increases him uh, which increases hematocrit uh, in the patient so it leads to suppression of erythropoietin so lesser the erythropoietin lesser the synthesis of hbs so it is also beneficial and there is longer lifespan of hba compared to hbs so these are the indications in transfusion therapy uh, sometimes we also might need to do partial exchange therapy to prevent the overload there are many other novel therapy like desitabine uh, which hypomethylates cellular dna or might be butyrate butyrate actually inhibits uh, histone deacylase then trichostatin A inhibits VCAM and tissue uh, factors Polyd uh, polydomide uh, which is a congener of thalidomide and which increases the uh, HBF synthesis then there is Senecopac which is a Gardos channel blocker that is Gardos channel please comment down below what type of channel is Gardos channel then there are uh, nitric oxide uh, uh, stimulators like uh, glutamine and uh, arginine that might also be used niprisan is also a phytomedicine which inhibits sickling all these therapies are not approved the only therapies that are approved for sickle are uh, hydroxyurea uh, glutamide arginine uh, then uh, volexator and crisnalizumab rest all are under investigation thank you that's all for today i hope you liked it please like share and subscribe